Hi everyone, welcome back to another cake video. Today I'm going to show you how I cover a cake with chocolate ganache. So let's get started. I'm starting off with a 12 ounce semi-sweet chocolate chip and to that I'm going to add just about a cup of heavy whipping cream. You just want enough so that it coats all of my chocolate chips. And then I heat that up into the microwave for about a minute intervals making sure I don't burn my chocolate but I think I had done a minute and 45 seconds with this batch I'm going to continue stirring until my ganache is nice and smooth so once it gets smooth I put this aside for it to cool down completely in this situation I place my ganache into the freezer for about 20 minutes or until it comes to a thick consistency and this is what I'm looking for when I am frosting my cake with ganache. I want it thick enough, but I don't want it runny also. So I just want it to the consistency of maybe frosting like buttercream. Now let's get this onto the cake. And today I'm using three six inch rounds. And if you're wondering, yes, my cakes are frozen. I prefer to work with frozen cakes because they are a lot easier to handle and I also get less crumbs. So as you can see, I put a ganache border onto my cake and I am putting some buttercream into the middle as my filling. And the ganache will just help with keeping the buttercream inside of each layer. I'm going to repeat the process with the second layer. Now onto the top layer, I'm making sure it's nice and even. And then we can start on the crumb coat. I'm filling in the gaps with more ganache. And as you can see, my ganache is nice and thick and still easy enough for me to frost the cake. I'm starting from the top and just working my way down. This crumb coat will help seal in any loose crumbs. And that way when I put on the final decorative layer, I don't have any crumbs showing. And then my cake scraper, this helps straighten out the sides. I'm just finishing off with my crumb coat, scraping off the sides, then I can start with my final frosting. And because this cake is chilled already, I immediately start with my final coat. And so back on to the top of the cake. I also want to mention that when working with ganache, you want to make sure that you're working fast so that it does not solidify on you. Sometimes if a cake is too cold, then your ganache will harden too fast and then it will be a lot harder for you to frost the cake. But sometimes that works in your favor, so once the ganache starts hardening up, you can go ahead and go back in with your cake scraper and start scraping the ganache to smooth it out. I'm 
I'm filling in any gaps with additional ganache and then smoothing it back out. Here's what it looks like. And I just decided to pipe on a simple border onto the top. I also want to mention that you want to make sure your ganache is still nice and smooth when you're piping this on because if not then it won't be as easy when piping on a border. If it does start to thicken up, you can place it back into the microwave just for a little bit, just so that it smooths itself out again. And I'm also piping a border onto the bottom of my cake. And all done. Here's what my cake looks like. All covered in chocolate ganache. Hopefully you guys like my tutorial on how I did this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And just a simple tutorial. If you want to give this a try, let me know how it turns out. And of course my baby was awake so I had to get in a slice. My cake was still a bit frozen but of course he does not care if that was the case. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!